So if the client has physical pain or anxiety, I'll say, I'd like you to think about a time today, in the last day, mm -hmm. when you felt even this little bit less anxiety, or when you felt the most like yourself, or the most like you would want yourself to feel or to be. Mm -hmm. So I invite you now to go back and forth between that image and whatever you're noticing in your body, and just shifting back and forth mm -hmm. until something changes. Okay. Yeah. And take all the time you need. Should, should I tell you what I'm thinking? You certainly may, yes. Yeah, well, they saw... You know, it's interesting. You said, "What well, can I tell you what I'm thinking?" And your body went like this. <laughs> One thing I don't like about myself is is my posture. Mm. It tends to be I tend to hunch over a bit. And, right. So and, let's play with this. Uh huh. Okay. So really feel your shoulders. Mm -hmm. Feel your shoulders. Let them rise a little bit, just a teeny bit, mm -hmm. and let them drop a little bit. And that's right. And come forward a little bit here, and then hold it there for a moment and then slowly coming back to neutral and just sense how that feels. I feel when I sit up and mm -hmm. open up, I yeah. feel more like the person I want to be. Wonderful, wonderful. Growing up, I was always like the shortest kid in the class. Oh, you know, okay. I, I was reasonably smart, so I, mm. that, I was I was a joke jokester, mm -hmm. which uh, you know I still am, and I enjoy that part of myself. Yeah, yeah, that's great. But I think it, I didn't develop a sense of confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's feel this now as a sense of confidence. Uh huh. Really, what does that feel like? Uh huh. And enjoy it. Uh huh. Enjoy it. Embrace it. Uh huh. Okay. So that's bringing the bottom up now with the top down. Uh huh. And usually people experience something like wholeness. Uh huh. Presence, wholeness. And again, it doesn't matter where you start, because the body is always ready to tell its story. You know. There's a voice that doesn't use words. Listen. That's Rumi. So we, as we learn to attend to our inner experiences, they open up into ways that we could just probably not even imagine cognitively. 